Hey, AJ. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. You'll have to give me a moment. My controller is playing hard to connect, even though it was just working. There we go. All right. Welcome on in, man. Let's just get the show on the road, shall we? Class. All right. No shield. No turtling. No overly defensive gameplay. Everyone has a shield or a buckler. Wow. Literally every character starts with one. Is the buckler on the thief really good for parries? Why don't we do that? Gift. It's been so long since I've played this game. I don't even know what these are. Your folks finally coming home. Hydrate. What's up, Sunji? How are you, man? Don't worry. This is water. No. No, I did not. Should I watch it now? Before we get started? Oh, it might be DMCA. Well, let's not take that risk. Remind me tomorrow. I was working my ass off today at work. Yeah, better safe than sorry for sure. Oh, I have to name my character. No. No shield mullet. Mole. No shield Malay. How are you, Sunji? We're actually going to watch this because In the age of ages, it has been ages. The world was We're not playing Darkest Dungeon, Sunji. Why are you throwing your points away, man? Land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Oh, you did that by mistake. You mean, oh shit. But then Wanted to go for fire. Sir Buttercup, no. <laughs> and was There's not enough room for that anyway, man. Don't worry, I'll refund your points. Heat and cold. You don't you don't need to redeem Light something for, for me naming a character in a, in like a profile. You can just shout it out. Light but speaking of that, Darkest Dungeon is a game I need to go back to and finish. The second one, that is. This chair needs to be a little higher. And found the souls of lords within the flame. Yeah, I don't think I have played this from start to finish since college. I think this came out in 2011? Nito, the first of the day. Or 2010? Because I played Dark Souls 2 when I still lived in the same town that I went to college. The Witch of Isolin. And her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. There's a black bar on the right side of my screen. Why is that? And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. How's BG3 going for you, Sunji? With the strength of lords. Challenge the dragons. Good. How far are you? Did you go to Act Three yet? With Gortas. Yeah, Gortash looks like the middle aged member of a boy band. Told him I'd ally myself with him, but I want to get his trust and then take it all for myself. Uh huh, you sneaky fucker. I think I told him to go fuck himself from the rip. 
You mean you're a rogue? Your class? There are only embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. I did a fighter, arcane the Eldritch Knight. You should be scared of those mechanical guardians until you know how to deal with them. They're fucking scary, man. Oh, thanks, Stream Elements. Where have you been? Oh, I gotta turn on ghost chat, you guys. Hold on, I'll do that as soon as we wake up here. I got this neat little plug-in. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. Well, this just got louder out of fucking nowhere. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is the remastered version of the game, and it does look this really nice. This is your fate. Are you interested in the Call of Cthulhu tabletop RPG books? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Are you going to mail some to me? Ow, dude. Gosh, my eyes bothering the shit out of me. You got the Humble Bundle with 24 books. Nice, man. Yeah, I'll read those. Okay, real quick. I guess the volume's okay. Real quick, I want to open up Ghost Chat. So, oh, I just realized my webcam is blocking my health bars and stuff. Okay, Ghost Chat has been activated. PDS, but if you were interested, I can send via WeTransfer. Yes, please, dude. You can send them to my email on my Twitch profile down below, if you don't mind. Because I have been writing down ideas for my own um, RPG game. And that would be very, very useful to have those to read over. All right, here we go. Village Corpse, Dungeon Cell Key. All right. So we're playing offensively. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, good old hold circle to run. your measly 20 souls AJ how are you good sir well this guy was just minding his own business and I kicked the shit out of him that probably wasn't very necessary also I hope my battery life on this controller holds up it was dead 30 minutes ago but I've been letting it charge that whole time Orange message, seek God. What's up, Helio? How are you? You mean the sun? And cleaning up the house all day? Cleaning it up from yourself? From animals? I don't think there's anything around here. By the way, if anyone feels like backseating me, by all means, go ahead. Because I do not... Re I mean, I remember a lot of this game, but I do not remember the small stuff. Yes, for myself slash cats. Cleaning is good, man. It fixes the brain right up. Despair ahead. I don't think so. All right, I need a real weapon. There's another bonfire right here. Is that in the original? Oh, I can parry with my hand. Ooh, we need to try that. I don't want my shield.
You better run, dude. There we go. Well, they don't give me a sword. They give me a bandit's knife. Fuck now, buddy. Can I get an enemy with a sword so I can practice my barehanded parry? Hello, friendly knight. Yeah, that almost got my toes. Hello. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. What happened to you? My... I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Of course. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps... <gasps> oh, 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 shit! Whoops. Oh, he's he gives you the Estus. Oh, that's funny. I dude, I tapped L1 thinking I would hold up my hand to block, and I just punched him to death. Oh no. Sprint feels a little weird in this one. Feels like my character should be moving faster than the animation is showing me. But oh well. Okay, so L1 is a punch. go we're gonna play this like Sekiro Axie what's going on man how's your evening you asked where the streams were and I decided that was what I needed yeah sort of relearning the classics so I went on a bit of a YouTube discovery and I have been enlightened to the idea that games like Bloodborne and Sekiro are very offensive in nature, right? But I played the Souls trilogy, the Dark Souls trilogy, very defensively. Heavily armored knight, shield, I turtled up and I just kind of waited, right? A lot in combat. So I want to replay these games because it's been ages, but I want to do so with a parry offensive kind of mindset. Right, big armor dude. And big armor dude is the first thing I do in every game where big armor dude is an option. Instead, I want to do this. I've also never played the remastered version of this one. It's locked. Oh, okay. But your evening is not too shabby. It's good. Play more hunt tonight. Oh, that looked like I was going to miss. Well, why is the music so quiet? I can barely hear that. Either Hunt or Darkwood. Oh, that's right. You started Darkwood over too. Nice. How far? Uh, have you ever beaten Darkwood? that dude nice you're on day 14 and in the old woods now okay wait a minute i've beaten the game once but it was several years ago i'm trying to remember where the old woods is because like there's two zones in the game right the first zone has like four 
corners and then you there's like a there's like a whole other area after that and i don't remember what the old woods is specifically where is the music oh i turned the music way down yeah turn that back up Old Woods, I think, is chapter one. There's the dry meadow where you start, then they send you to the silent forest, then to the old woods. Okay, so you're in like zone you're you're in like the third chunk, I wanna say. If my memory serves me correctly. So you're like halfway. You can do a different order, but it seems like that's what they try to do. Gotcha. Good job. Go straight ahead. Yeah, I would be terrified to try anything out of order in that game. Oh, hey, this is where the crow is in Dark Souls 1. How did you die? Did you dodge backwards? Yeah, you did. Do I have any items the crows would want right now? I don't think I do. No, I don't have shit, man. They were probably hitting B to back out of their menu like, like this and went boop. <laughs> Dude, right? Only in the ancient legends it is stated. But yeah, so I, I was saying earlier, I haven't played one day this one since it came chosen. out. Like I've tried to play Dark Souls several times, the undead but I just love all the other games age. too much. I'm to a the land of the ancient law. I'm a Dark Souls two. Defender and lover. Lordran. And I played the shit out of the third one because after Bloodborne came out, my like opinion of these games completely changed because Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 were so much faster. And then Sekiro. And I feel like Elden Ring kept that pace up. And I've never really liked Firelink Shrine. Which might be blasphemous to say, but I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just never struck me as a very good hub. I mean, it is a good hub, but I like the others more. Okay. I think I'm definitely gonna go with a dexed build. Yeah, I feel safe here. But like Majula, like all the NPCs you talk to in Dark Souls 2, they come back to Majula and like repopulate it. There's like two NPCs that show up here after this guy and that's it, I think. Maybe three. Okay. This weapon scales off decks. That's what we're going with. I suppose you can't beat the music either. Well, what do we have here? You must be a and his outfit looks like pajamas. Let me guess. Even though undead, it's chainmail. Right? But they well, just look like dirty pajamas. But there's no salvation mm -hmm. here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. I mean, look at him. Too late now. You glance at him and it would look like a onesie. Since you're here, let me help you out. <laughs> ah, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The Just before you showed up, Axie, the knight that rescues you in the asylum, he was talking to me, and I accidentally punched him in the dick, and he died. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling. Wait, I have ten Estus already. So off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? 
to this accursed land of the undead. He had one HP. He was gonna die anyway. I just cut his dialogue short and got my Kool-Aid faster. Sorry, my Sunny D. Alright, I do remember that we want to go up before we go anywhere else. No Tomb of the Giants for me. Yet. Whoa, oh. dude! We're gonna deal with the bomb guy first. I am gonna die a lot to failed parries. Oh no! Oh no! This game's clunky, man. What the fuck? I don't remember this. Ha <laughs> ha! I got them all at once. Let's see if people still troll new players in the next area. Oh, for sure. You come here. I need to practice. Oh. Oh, yeah, I fucked that up. Come on. Oh, my God. He's going to kill me. Oh. Can you jump? Oh, you can. Well, I should just go get that item right now. Oh, are you ready? Full send, man. Ring of sacrifice. Oh, right. That's if I die, the ring breaks and I keep all my souls. We don't need that. Now, wait a minute. The bell ringing is other players ringing the bell. Or am I crazy? How populated is this game? Oh, I thought that was a real enemy. All right. There's like a dragon up here, right? That guy just let me kill him. Okay, when you dodge, you pretty much dodge towards your locked on target. Oh gosh. Like I can't dodge. Yeah, it's either like completely to the side or straight at them. This is going to be fun. Anything down here? New. It really also chokes me up that you can't move while healing. I am so used to being able to just walk a little. You can get over there, right? Can you not make that jump? Too heavy? I guess other people are playing this game if I'm seeing ghosts. There we go. Ah! 
Okay, I gotta stop dodging into them. Actually, what I need to do is hit this bonfire. Get our endurance up. Okay. do charge attacks so badly <laughs> all right you guys i'm dead he blocked me even when he wasn't holding the shield up Completely fucking this. How do I deal with you without a shield? Come on. There we go. I can practice on you. rolling that's not trolley that works oh hello mr merchant man well, now you seem to have your wits about you hmm? then you are a welcome customer i trade for souls everything's for sale <laughs> There's something in my eye. All right, what do we got? Repair powder, throwing knife, firebomb, Lloyd's talisman, dried finger. Ooh, definitely need the orange soapstone. Yeah, it's <laughs> this guy insults you quite a bit, doesn't he? Oh, we need this. Oh, we need all this. <coughs> Sorry, eyes bothering me. Is the dagger better than my bandit knife? 56 plus 14. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. Bandit knife does 56 plus 14. I hope you <laughs> Plenty of souls, dude. This also does 56 plus 14. What about the short sword? 78 plus 13. It scales equally off strength and dex. Oh, but the scimitar. Here we go. How much is this? 600? Sure. Oh, thank come back. <laughs> I probably would have found one of these if I waited long enough, but oh well. Now, can you? Yes, you can dual wield. All right. I should have been doing that this whole time. No parries with dual wield though. Whoa! Oh shit.
I wonder how I'm going to do against the gargoyles. Oh, this is how you get into that house. Okay. crystal lizard around here oh hey light crossbow how do I get try a plunging attack <laughs> try finger but hole now how do I get over there oh you climb up from another area Did my Estus go down from 10 to 5? I don't want no wooden shield. As soon as I get framped, I'm going to sell all my shields. My Estus is at 5. Oh, do you need to go to Firelink Shrine to get it? to go to 10 until you upgrade it in some other way ah! well that was my first death Damn. Oh my god, Moobot, what are you talking about? That's over with, Moobot. Hold on, we gotta fix that. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I just realized you guys can't hear my music. One moment. There we go. All right, move by. Let's, let's just visit the chatting lounge for a brief moment. If my Firefox decides to function in these trying times. Come on, man, you're making me look bad here. Okay, maybe we try a different browser. Custom commands. Donate off. Timers. Voice for Tots fundraiser off. There we go. <laughs> What's up, Internetting? How are you? Hey. How is the how is the volume of this music because it's so chill I might just let it play I don't want it to be too loud
Nope, you need oh you both have axes. Yeah, I definitely have to relearn how to play this. Can't hear it now, just clang boom slash. Okay. Well good, then it's not interfering. How are ya? Be wary of left. That is not a mimic. That is not a mimic. Mimics don't show up till Ann Orlando. That's what you were warning me about. Tired? I was super tired yesterday and then I went to jujitsu and I got very untired and stayed up way past my bedtime. And that was fun. I fucked up my foot and I hurt my neck. My neck did like a pop, but it doesn't hurt. Nope, I'm dead. Kind of feeling disheartened about Slayer, like I'm starting to see flaws all over the place. And now hold the fucking phone. What are we talking about here? Oh no! No! It's, it's okay. I'm alive. What is over there? Is there anything over there? I did it! Yes, you did. How do I rate a message? Or can I just not do that yet? Like I'm trying to make NPCs and monsters and there's just too many skills, abilities, etc. <clears throat> so I've been Googling other games and I was reading uh, Numenera and apparently in Numenera NPCs have a level and that's all they have is their level. And that level is what the GM uses to determine bonuses to any stats they might roll. Now these would be NPCs that like are supposed to give exposition and stuff and aren't necessarily uh, supposed to be fought. Now, like when I run monsters in D&D, I rarely, what the fuck? I rarely have them make skill rolls outside of like combat stuff, like grapples and maybe some sleight of hand. Cause like, let's be real here. What the fuck is a hobgoblin gonna do with a tracking skill? You know? Like in your mind as the GM, is are you are you playing a game with all your monsters off screen and rolling stats for them often enough for them to all have skills? What I'm trying to say is maybe your NPCs and monsters don't need everything that the players have. You fucking piece of shit. You guys have swords. Can I parry that? Oh, there we go. Death number two. Yeah, I could just cut the amount of stuff that shows up on the sheet, but what's the arbitrary cutoff for that stuff? Furthermore, I hit this feeling when trying to make some iconic characters based on our old characters. Ooh, tell me more about this feeling. And. Also, I think a good starting point for a cutoff is Slayer is a combat focused game. So I would make the monsters, you know, flesh them out for combat purposes. And then 
basically anything that's not needed for combat, throw it away. Is where I would start anyway. And another thing, in the MCDM RPG, there are stats that NPCs have for dialogue. I think, I think uh, one of them is called patience. I forget what the other one is called, but they they basically have broken down like role playing with characters into a mini game. And if you do something similar to that, then you could reduce the skill bloat that NPCs would normally have. It just put me in a funk, like looking at the skills and being like, look what I have wrought. <laughs> you're Dr. Frankenstein and you don't know how to deal with your creation. That's what you're saying. In a minute, they heal with Estus? You little bastards. Hmm. I will say they undead. That's true. I will say I feel like your stat blocks sometimes, like some of the sample stat blocks you made for me, I feel like they remind me of Pathfinder stat blocks that are just kind of fucking huge. And it's like, why? Wait, where's that go? Okay. I'm sure there's some fat you can cut out of monster stat blocks. Because remember, one of the things that you don't have to do because you're not playing D&D is you can cut out some legacy crap that D&D has always had. Or Pathfinder, like an expansive skill list. Or the arbitrary... This number equals this number, even though you could just have the final number anyway. Are you in here, lizard? Where you at? No, come down here. Yeah, I mean, I only list the skills that they have mastery with, right? So it's not like they get more than a few skills that show on the sheet. It's just referencing all the skills and picking the ones they can use as a task in and of itself. Refer okay, it's just referencing all the skills and picking the ones they can use as a task in and of itself. So what I do, if I need a monster to make a skill roll and I have no idea if they're proficient in it or not, in the moment, I'll I'll, fi I'll find the relative attribute uh, value and I'll add that. Like, okay, this monster is making a stealth check. They're gonna add their dexterity to it. Now, if I'm role playing an assassin and like stealth is their thing, I'll just apply their attribute value twice. So expertise, right? So what if, oh shit, is this the Taurus demon? Yeah, that's the intention. If it doesn't show, they have stealth skill on the sheet. Just roll it. Right. So here's something you could do. Don't list any skills for a monster, right? Assume they all roll just their attribute values. But if you want a monster to be better at some skills than others, maybe you could pick like a primary attribute. So for example, a Minotaur, right? You could put under the monster abilities, the Minotaur applies its Vigor value twice to all Vigor skills. That's it, right? Because all creatures can do all skills, just like players, but that little blurb will immediately tell the GM, oh, this monster's really good with all the skills governed by this attribute. And that way it's one line instead of, they're proficient in this skill and proficient in this skill and proficient in this skill. That's a really good idea for monsters, but I'm not sure it fits NPCs. 
Well, what kind of NPCs are we talking about here? Are you thinking NPCs the characters would meet in like story modules? Oh, hold on. I might not be able to do much right now. Okay, I need to get away from you and you get your balls off me so I can, I'm dead. I need more Sunny D. Oh shit. No, oh, he tracked me. Fucking, he's from Elden Ring. What's he doing? Oh no. Oh, I thought he was gonna charge. Ah! <laughs> That's my plan all along. That's the second time ever that I've gotten him to jump to his death. <laughs> okay, there's another crystal lizard around here, I think. I did it! Batty. Wow, pacifist victory. Pacifist playthrough of Dark Souls. Can it be done? That's an item. Okay, what the hell were we talking about? So, so you could just have like a primary attribute for monsters. Yes, I'm trying to be very shieldless. I'm trying to play this game like Sekiro and I've already given up on parrying. <laughs> Um Wait. Where's my guy? Oh, Solaire's down here. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora. And Solaire of, the of Astora. Of the now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn to seek my very own son you find that no need to hide your reaction <laughs> <laughs> oh aha so i didn't scare you i have a proposition the way i see it in a land brimming with hot so what do you say of course i'll help you pleases me greatly we are amidst the strength. The flow of time itself is convoluted. The very fabric waits. There's no telling how much longer your world might need be to summon one another and engage in jolly cooperation. Course. Of course, we are not the. But I am a warrior of the sun. If you miss, it, you, you must be blind. be blind. Okay, so what were we talking about? You could have a primary attribute for monsters, so that in the off chance that a monster has to make a skill check then the GM will know, apply this bonus twice. But for NPCs, what kind of NPCs are we talking about? Because in my mind, there's like, I guess what I'm saying is that it made me start questioning a whole bunch of shit about the entire game, not just the monsters. I see. Like you're questioning if you have too much shit to be applied to stat blocks. And, and furthermore, does that shit need to be in the game at all? Well, like, when it comes to stat blocks, I think you can definitely cut back on listing skills. But what else are you considering that may be getting in the way? I'm going to try and talk you down from any rash decisions. Wait, do I still? Did I just use the master key and lose it? Oh, no, I still have it. Okay. Is fucking uh, the huge ass heavy knight down here? Weakness, stabbing in the back. Oh my God, he is. Oh shit. Havel, I don't think I can deal with you right now, man. 
I want to go spend my souls before I risk anything like this. Is he chasing me? Okay, I think I'm safe. You guys gotta die. You'll get me killed. Also, internetting, how how many other like TTRPGs have you skimmed over? Like while you've been working on Slayer? Because I've been making myself a list I want to get to for when I make my own game. Oh, wait, should I go buy? Ah, shit, I should probably go buy stuff from that merchant. the durability of a weapon there we go 144 of 160 oh, still think I have never hurts to split <laughs> did you just call me a nitwit oh yeah let's just buy all these Should I buy a short bow? I think I'll find Thank one. You kind. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope you started as a bum. What's up, Ray? No, I'm a thief, dude. Look, the only game that I play in as a bum is Bloodborne, where you're quite literally a waste of space. What's going on, Ray? How are you? Been a while, dude. What have you been up to? Relate really to the party, pal. fire bombs for me because I feel like you have a shitload and I'm just not getting any ah! nothing much just chilling rare sight here because the time zones are even worse now oh wait did you did you move again it is almost 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here for me. What time is it where you are? Five a.m. Did you just wake up or are you just going to bed? Oh, you're nine hours ahead. going yet my build ain't building my build ain't building wait what oh do we try ah! oh. 
Come on, let's go fight in a bigger area. Come on. The game project in UA5 ain't building. Oh. Hey, you should talk to Monkey. He started making video. Well, he is technically making a video game. He has not made one yet. But he's doing some cool stuff. I'm fucked. I'm fucked! Do the rolling! That did nothing. No, you're good, man. Ugh. Get the f You've interrupted a warrior's duel, fuckwit. I'm still dead as fuck. Or am I? Come on. Come on, man. This is so tense. No, he tracked me. Oh, he didn't do his stab. I think these guys stay dead when you kill them though. So it's probably worth just banging this one out. Interneting, I don't want to get too far away from our conversation about Slayer, but don't don't despair, dude You've put so much fucking work into this game. You're gonna figure it out I think you'll feel better about it once we actually play like a scenario in it and not just a mini combat demo more about your game what's going on with it what type of game is it and how uh why are you having trouble okay okay no get the songs I think it's because of Linux, but I'm not sure. We'll have to do a lot of digging. Just go get our souls and level up. Oh. 
You little shit. Oh, he's really tough. put him in a really shit area. so tall that I backstab him in the anus. Ooh, you know, I just realized I shouldn't be cheesing it like this. That's not how I want to be playing this game. job black knight Let's level up a tad since I have a fucking huge ass chunk of souls now. Uh, where are my souls? Oh my god! Yeah, come down here and say it to my face, dude. do that attack there we go yeah you love the part where the game fucks you 
Have you been playing any video games, Ray? shot some of them nice No shield, right? <laughs> Holy shit, though. I've naked parried the Black Knight a few times. But the fucking hitbox on his thrust is insane. My main, my main game is now Dark Tide. They made it a bit better, so I'm doing some achievements. I did dabble in it um, like one night after the last update. And then some 3D and a, ga and, and a game. As in like some 3D dev time? a lot better than it was at launch but there's something about it that still just cannot grab me compared to vermintide man i love vermintide that was the first game i streamed oh shit Piss! let's go big guy i haven't touched a 3d program yep you're right much better but not vermintide 2 All the game devs watch you while it build a company. <laughs> Ray, Ray, Monkey, and Axie are all game devs. And we have a few artists around here. All right, internetting. Let's, let's make a company. What game are we making? No, get him! Holy shit, that damage. A lethal company? <laughs> the video game and the tabletop market each other. Can you fucking imagine that, though? That'd be like making 5e and Baldur's Gate 3 at the same time. It would take a fucking decade. Fucking 2010 hitboxes. If I made a video game, I'm already basically one fifth of the way there. <laughs> so you need to write 1600 more pages? If I were gonna make a video game, I would wanna make a horror game. Because I feel like, well, one, there are an absolute shitload of indie survival horror games. There always have been. Um, and I feel like they're on the easier side to make. Because you see a lot that are 
silent protagonist first person walking sims with some hide and seek gameplay right then you've got stuff like resident evil playstation one era graphics with fixed camera angles which is a lot harder there's a guy named puppet combo that basically all he makes are games in that vein and they're very good but he makes lots of short little games instead of one big long one like a 10 hour resident evil and then i did buy an rpg maker game on steam because just before i got off twitter somebody was saying how easy it is to make low poly horror games in that software slash game and i'm like oh this is on sale for three dollars i should get this i haven't touched it yet though Easier, yes. There's no way I could play every Steam game I own before I die. You could probably boot them all up, but finish them? That one's harder. There was a there was an indie humble bundle thing once for like ten dollars that had something like three hundred games that were all fifteen to twenty years old. I hid them from my library. I don't even know they exist. But I would also suggest a WYSIWYG. What, pray tell, Ray Fox, is a WYSIWYG? You can if you go into Ghost Mod. Ghost Mod? You mean Ghost Mode? Where no one knows if you're alive anymore because you've just been playing Steam games? Oh, what you see is what you get. WYSIWYG. <laughs> Gotcha. So wait, is WYSIWYG a type of game development then? Like method or programming software? Because as a very creative visual person, I would, I would love to see the immediate results of my work. Get fucked. Is he dead? Hosed. Hey, what's this do? Two ring slots. The fuck is that about? Well, I had a weapon. You mean no sh wait, hose, no weapon, lol, it does nothing. Wait. Oh, the bl the blue tear stone ring does basically nothing. Ah, WYSIWYG is a is a principle. Does it weigh anything? Gotcha. Hey, man, I'm not playing with a shield. I'll take it. Uh, all right. Do I go fight Havel? Is that even an option right now? How do I get Havel's ring? Do I kill him? Oh my god. Look at this behemoth of a man. But wait, you can die. God damn it, my souls are down there now! But 
but you said it in a funny meme way. I didn't take it seriously. This is all your fault. Oh, fuck. Don't body block me. You got a lot of friends back there. Shoot the message. <laughs> yes. Interneting chat gets blamed for shit all the time. Can I even parry this fucker? Oh no! This is a rescue mission now. All solid snake. Oh my bro! You are shitting me, man. Do enemies hit each other in this fucking game? We're uh we're moving on. <laughs> Oh, there's two assholes up there, isn't there? Push him off the bridge, too. Oh! Will he follow me out here? Wait, if I push him off the bridge, do I have to hit the bonfire and then his stuff drops where he spawns? You can start with G Develop for free or Construct 3. Dude, Ray, send me some links if you don't mind. Not that I'll ever have time to play around with this shit, but I'd love to have the opportunity. Or the possibility. Hey, Havel, you're a bitch! Yeah, I heard the king doesn't give a fuck about you. That's why he locked you down here! Holy shit, he's fast for an 800 pound man. Oh, their stuff should be where they fell. Okay. Ah, fuck, dude. Oh, we went the wrong way. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's doing it. He's doing it. Come on. Dude, do not go to the bonfire in that circumstance that the NPC falls to their death. Got it. Come on. No. No. You're doing so good, man. Oh, shit. Here we... <gasps> no, don't dodge towards him, you fucking idiot. Come on. No, come on, you're doing so good! Come on! Come on! Yeah, dude, I did not realize this game had four-way rolling. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker! Wait, can I exploit that? Oh, the amount of damage I just did. Oh. He's two handing it, it's a one hit kill. Oh. If he's one handing it, it's a one hit kill. Dude, he's gonna be way worse than the knight. I'll worry about him and his fucking dragon's tooth later. At least my souls are now in a much easier to reach location. I am still quite the scrub. I may also have a permanent debuff because I'm a Dark Souls 2 lover. Hmm. 
That's fine. I'm not going to use the dragon's tooth. Not on this character. Can you guys hear the Oscob music at all, by the way? Like, even when I'm not in combat? exactly what I wanted to sound like. Thank you. Ray, can you send that to me on Discord? Because I'm definitely going to miss that by the time I wrap up this stream. Okay, so I just have to brave the dragon? Well, wait, now I'm fucked, right? Oh, he just lets me go down the stairs. Okay. Thank you. Now, do I have the ammunition to shoot his tail off? go back and kick the ladder oh i totally missed this i thought that was around here thank you let's do vitality and endurance i guess Wait, maybe I do buy the short bow. What's the uh, sword I get for shooting his tail off? Is that worth it? You're kind of disgusted realizing this game will never ever be fresh for you again. What do you mean? I mean, I know what you mean, but damn that bad, huh? Worth it says Ray. Is it a dex-based sword? I can't remember. You wouldn't you know this game as well as you know Mega Man X? That's how I am with like all the Resident Evil games. At least a majority of them. They still bring me immense joy. See, at some point, you just gotta play the video game for the vibe. It's Godfire, fucks. <laughs> what, Ray? Oh. Well, fuck it. Let's buy a. Let's buy a short bow. What do I get if I kill this guy? <laughs> Oh shit, I do? Is it worth it? Wait, he doesn't sell the katana? Jam! How are you, dude? Welcome. Better not to kill him. It's better not to kill him. On a first playthrough. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Dude, this guy has taken so much of my money. I'm just scratching my ass. How do the bitbot commands work with this? So most of my bitbot commands jam are for Hunt and Tarkov and Resident Evil 4. I haven't made any for Dark Souls yet. But I was planning on doing that eventually. Like I like you could pay two bits to make me roll or attack or something. No, if you want katana fast, it's the best way to get it. I think otherwise you get it from the samurai of the cat coming in down in the depths. That sounds scary. 
but also jam there's a lot of bitbot commands that are free that are sounds and those are down below my twitch uh down in the widgets um i have a list of them and and those are all free that doesn't those don't cost anything What do I shoot? Do I shoot his tail? No, he moves. Oh, this is going to take forever. How much damage did I even do? Yeah, I'm not doing this. If I was not streaming this game, maybe. I do want a katana interneting just because I really want to play Sekiro. This, in, this entire replay of the Souls trilogy is so I can get myself back to Sekiro. But yeah, Jam, if you wanted to make a scav yell at me, you could do that. But I need to come up with ideas for um um like action redeems that you guys can do like make me roll make me switch weapons make me pause the game make me chug an estus and i was thinking make them all real cheap like one or two bits because i can't think of many sound effects that would be worth charging bits to like fuck me up not in this game maybe like an enemy swinging their sword into a wall or something but eh okay there's another dark knight up there yes this is Sekiro Souls Ray 100% just buy every item I need off that merchant and then kill him? Oh, jeez. Hey, interneting! When the bell rings, does that mean another player has rung it? Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh, so okay, it is based on player activity. That's so fucking sick. Over 10 years later and people are still jamming this out. All right, come on plan here, buddy. Also, isn't there like a knife for your left hand that you can parry with? Or am I thinking of another game? So what do I do with you? I think I go down here. Oh! Do go down here. I do remember your shitty ambush. No! I think it's in Sense Fortress, but I never used it, so my memory is foggy. My my memory is quite foggy on this one too. Like I barely remember playing through this. Like, I know the big stuff. I know Quelag, Sense Fortress, and Orlando, Blight Town. I know the bosses. But I don't really remember, like, the individual rooms that comprise the level.
Ooh, what does the mystery key open? design and world map design of the first half of the game is what makes it so special to me so the first half of the game so when you get to an orlando it falls apart or after an orlando loser you wall ahead with a framps what this isn't real also if you're still there jam or anyone else wondering i should state that in the bitbot commands if it doesn't call out um sound then it's a command that um like everything that just popped up when jam typed exclamation mark bitbot can all be done right now so like all the sounds will play if you donate those bits you can make me spin the camera 360 degrees like a lot for 50 bits and you can just close my game for a thousand after like basically when you're stuck dealing with the demon ruins areas ah gotcha yeah, I, I wanted to clarify, if I was playing Hunt or Tarkov, there would be additional commands unique to those games. See, the I, there's something about this game that just doesn't, like, grab me the way that Demon Souls and Dark Souls 2 and 3 did. I And I think it is, I don't know if it's the level design or if it's just the way the levels look. Which I feel really weird saying Demon Souls somehow pulled me in more than this game did. Because, dude, I played the fucking shit out of Demon Souls. Especially co-op with my friend Alec back, like, right between high school and college. We played so much co-op Demon Souls. And then I beat Dark Souls, but I just never went back to it. Oh, yeah, we... <laughs> Ray, I have like a weekly debate with people in Jam's Discord on whether or not Dark Souls 2 is good or bad. And I love that fucking game. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Also, I can't really say this game looks better than I remember it because this is the remastered version. So that's like cheating. Oh no! Oh god! Is that enough to kill you? Oh, it is. Come on, man. You're terrible in areas like this. There we go. Don't stab with your spear, swing it. Okay, I... Where do I want to go? Oh, I probably want to open this gate. Oh no, leave me alone. Are you really coming out here? to ask why I haven't seen any soapstones, but I'm still undead or hollow. All right, now we're going to go hit the blacksmith's bonfire. Or am I fucking crazy? Because it feels like I can't. That or the timing is just way more specific. No! Oh, 
Secret. <laughs> Tight spot. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Horrible shoulder stiffness from elite gaming hours. Well, why not? Here? I don't know how you can look at the way the levels are designed with the intricate traps, shortcuts to open, etc., and not love it, man. The elevator back down to Firelink is just Chef's Kiss. No, I like the way the levels are laid out. Like the top down blueprint of the levels and how the world wraps back around on itself, I dig it. To me, it's more the presentation. Like, I'm an art guy, right? So it's the color of the walls, the look of the trees, the, the environments themselves. I don't, I don't know, man. It just, it's missing that X factor to me. Maybe it's a dying world and it's sad. Yeah, but every fucking world in a From Software Souls game is dying, right? And they've got to find ways to convey that and not make it feel cyclical, cyclical. Yeah, it's a bit more of that Silent Hill iron thing. Silent Hill iron thing? What do you mean? Like, I guess, I guess a more concrete example is the first level in Demon Souls is like the battlements of a castle, right? With a bunch of undead knights like these guys. And the first level in Dark Souls is the undead burg, which are like the castle battlements of, of An Orlando. We're like, we're like the shit city. We're, we're the lower level of An Orlando where the shit rolls down. And it just feels very similar to the first zone in Demon Souls. And it's like, oh, you're doing this again. But I feel like it looked better in Demon Souls. It felt better. Boletaria is better than Undead Berg, but the problem is that it's the only zone in Demon, Zol Demon Souls I like. Really? Maybe I'm biased by the remake because, oh my God, that night is bigger than I remember. Oh no. Yeah, I fucking love Boletaria, even in the original. I will say I'm not a big fan of the Storm of Shrines in Demon Souls. It feel it feels very weird and short. How the flip do I get over there? Ah! Oh, I could go back to the Undead Asylum now? Oh, 
Oh shit. I can take the elevator back up. And even though it's a horrible pain in the ass, I love the swamp in Demon Souls. And then you get to the and then you get to Blight Town and it's like, wait a minute. You've done this. But I mean, they do swamps a fucking lot in these games. So I guess I can't be too mad. Now, none of these are mimics, right? You mm. See, this is a very hidden area, so I would not be surprised if one of these was a mimic. If the chain curls inward, it is a mimic. Mm, only pieces of shit find this place because this is where you get the item to evade people Didn't know about the chain. Yeah, it's hard to see but so you see how that chain kind of curls out or, or sorry rather it curls out from the chest Normal chest if it goes any other way. It's a mimic. That's your visual cue. first time I saw Frampt here, I fucking shit myself so badly. Okay, just kill me. No! I broke my ankles! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get myself another can of sparkling water. <laughs> Motherfucker. And I'm going to run an ad real quick. button to run an ad break while I walked away, but it doesn't always play for everybody. Oh, that's right. There's no teleporting yet. Oh, maybe that's why. Oh, yes. You're a smart person. Don't say that too loud. Twitch doesn't like that. Um, maybe that's one of the reasons why I was so hesitant to come back to this game is... I don't like the fact that you have to get halfway through it before you can teleport between bonfires. See, to me, it really, 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 really depends on the game if you should limit fast travel behind some kind of block. But this isn't, ah, uh, this isn't really a Metroidvania, though. You don't get upgrades in the same sense. 
Hello there. I am Petrus of Thuriland. If not, isn't this guy evil? Hello. I realized, but I also want you to hear. Yeah. No. Yeah, I would argue that the Souls games they have they have a dab of Metroidvania in them. Oh my! Oh, I have to await. So what it would? Uh, Very well. Uh, that is a shame. Speak I'm not joining me. your clergy. Souls games a secret vania. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down with that. Yeah, dude, I remember in Dark Souls 3 finding the dragon, the, the lost dragon boss who has like an invisible baby in his hands and then finding the secret behind him was like whoa where are my souls are they up top oh whatever they were like 300 i don't care but i'm gonna rest here oh wait no i had a humanity i do care also don't i need to talk to this lady to power up my estus Okay, so Firelink Shrine does give you 10 Sunny Ds. Got it. All right, everybody, what's your favorite uh, home base in a, in a Souls-like game? It comes pre-kindled. Ah. You already know I prefer Majula. But I also really like the Super Shrine in uh, Dark Souls 3. Sadly, I'm... It, yeah, dude, the Majula music is like chef's kiss, right? DS3 is the worst? Why do you say that? I think the one in Elden Ring kind of sucks. I think it's too big for its own good and it's underutilized like not enough NPCs go back there and I feel like it has the most running around it's so ugly and downtrodden I like that the home base is always like the one place of peaceful beauty and melancholy I agree with you. It is ugly. It is downtrodden, but I think that fits because Dark, Th Dark Souls 3 is the end of the cycle of fire. And if, if the Ashen Ones don't win, like existence is over basically for mankind. So it makes sense to me that it's like the most depressing of all the home bases. So I got I gotta defend it for that. Bro, were you what? Do you have that much fucking HP or are you just blocking all of my attacks? think that's a good enough excuse to make it so miserable mm.
I like the Nexus. So so here's here's a weird thing that makes me like um safe zones. I like a safe zone that has little alcoves in it for characters to like chill out in. Like if you look at the Nexus in Demon Souls, you go behind the big pillars and it's like the the sorceries users over here and the miracle users over there and the lonely katana guy up there and the merchant on this corner and he's seen it in a way that he can see all the new arrivals because he sells them shit like that's what i like about um a refuge oh dude this is embarrassing What? Can I even parry this guy on the fucking stairs? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll return my humanity to me once I, uh, well, get back to a bonfire with my one humanity. Speaking of home bases, the one in Sekiro is okay. I mean, characters don't really go back to it besides like a single merchant. And I wish Bloodborne, Bloodborne almost has the best home base in my book, but there's a problem with it. The Hunter's Dream is a secluded zone that other characters can't go to. This is why I never really leaned into parrying. It's so hard, but I'm sure it's rewarding. Well, I'm not sure I can even parry this guy because of the elevation difference. I lied. I just parried him, but I couldn't follow up with an actual attack. There we go. Easy peasy, Axie. Come on. Um, so, so Bloodborne has the Hunter's Dream, right? The Hunter's Dream is badass, and I love it. But because NPCs can't go back there, there's a second home base in the chapel, and the chapel's okay. But the mer the or actually the characters that go back there are not merchants. Um, I do like that you can send characters to the clinic or the chapel, but the clinic is a is a red herring death trap. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm fucked. I'm fucked! Dude, that just shoots through the, the fucking minions. Don't you accrue humanity with every kill? Axie, did you play Sekiro? Yeah, I'm really bad at Sekiro. It's such a good game. Oh, is he gonna come up here? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. I got walooped. Just give it another shot, man. Oh, fuck off. 
I just fucked it. I can't parry that. Not even backstab you, bro. It won't even let me backstab him. That's what the dodge rolls for, my guy. What's up, Pally? Yeah, but I'm trying to parry enemies in this playthrough. Oh, fuck. And the four-way rolling in this is booty! All right, I guess we're two-handing this sword now. Okay, this guy ain't that bad. Pally, how are you, man? Is this guy tough? You don't look so tough. He's tough. Just kidding! What was that attack? Good eating dinner watching you. Nice man, what's for dinner? I had such a mega fat lunch today, I am skipping dinner. Got bullied to death. Smoked brisket, fries, and grapes. That sounds great. Okay, we don't want to let this guy out, right? Latrek? Doesn't he kill the Firelink Shrine Lady? summon Solaire. I need a fact check on Pally, chat. Do we want to let Latrek out of his cage? I don't think so. want to let him out so you have the opportunity to fight him later even though it's a difficult one i don't remember says axie you can go back to fire lane get his reward then kick him twice to shove him up i can kill him at fire Link shrine Dr. Trippy, hello. Thanks for joining us. Let's go down to the tennis court. Wait, what's... There's a tennis court? Ah, I have flesh again. Let's fight our way back up there. Excuse me. Fucker. No! I'm human! I want to stay human, damn it! Oh my god. 
Don't you fucking Dude Take it easy internet A tough NM and I need to concentrate I should know what that is, but I don't well, I just wasted that I want to summon Solaire though notorious monster See ya Do this as a human. I want to summon Solaire. Do his quest line. And besides, once I get to the sewers, I think I can just farm humanity. This is true. I have touched many a blade of grass in my day. Pally, I really appreciate the way Elden Ring plays. <laughs> After going back to this. Attacks bouncing off the fucking walls. This enemy. <sighs> yes, sir. You're right on that one. Oh, fuck this. Oh, wait. No, I need to get the track. Shit. out of here dude did I get him did I do no d what Oh, net code. 
Net code? Is it really? Oh, dude, that's like nothing. What the fuck is... fucking using my humanity then dude <sighs> can I just go to the boss he just put more armor on What is happening? Can we kill the hacker? <laughs> the hacker was the real boss all along. How are we not interrupting him? Yeah, right, Axie? Thank gosh John Souls is here. Dude, internetting left too soon. Don't let him heal! Don't let him get away! Explain. This is the price we had to pay for Elden Ring. Was it worth it? That fucking sucks, dude. Ugh. I got a message interneting. This in like four other games. I know, but I want to summon Solaire to fight the gargoyles. So I'm going to just try and push it. Or maybe summon some people right here at the elevator. can let Latrek out after the gargoyle fight I I think you can Axie I just chose not to because I had help now I'm waiting for other people to put their sign down oh what is this sign I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. This is the guy that just killed me. I don't want to summon you. Uh, yeah, he's probably going to hack me, right? Oh, 
he really? Wow. Okay. Dude, please no. Now these guys are gonna fucking kill me. Wait a minute. Oh, the tear stone ring. That's what that was. No, no. I know I'm just nah, fuck it. Come on, Solaire. Carnage. They sure can, man. How are you? Oh my God, step. All right, just me and Solaire, here we go. Nice, Carnage. This is my first playthrough in over a decade. Bringing back the PTSD. Thank you all for uh, joining me today, by the way. I appreciate it. Streaming is much better when you have people to talk to. <laughs> I'm going for a full dex parry no shield build this time, Carnage. Oh, is he fucking Herculesing this thing or being Zeus? Whoa, we are destroying this guy. And now I'm getting destroyed. Oh my god. Yep, it's over. Fucking A, Solaire. You've been lifting. Did I over level? Or are these guys just that weak? What's up, Farmer? I think I have. Wow. It won't let me bring up the emote menu. I want to wave hi to him. It's gonna bow, man. Farmer, how are you? Now I cannot be invaded here, correct? Ring this shit. Woo! Carnage, we just got killed by a hacker and I almost nearly summoned him afterward. Not good. Downloaded a program a friend sent me. Turns out he was hacked and in my infinite wisdom didn't think it to be malware. Oh shit, man. What's going on? But you also cannot farm for humanity either. That's fine, Pally. We got the sewers for that. What's damage control look like? What's what's all that software you had me download a few months back when we thought I had a virus? When I almost certainly did. This guy looks like he's right out of Bloodborne. Greeting. I am Oswald of Kerry. The part. You appear to that Come without to confess. 
You know, it's funny, I couldn't even figure out how the summoning of Slayer worked, and by the time I realized how it worked, I didn't feel like using any help, so I'm super proud of myself for doing the entire game solo. Hell yeah, man. Malware Bytes used it, and it came out clean, but I found the text file it sent, and it had a password. So I've been changing a lot of them. He just wants a hug. I didn't dabble in online, so I never got invaded. It was a single-player experience. Hell yeah. Report trespass of invader. Is this even... Oh, is there even a point to this? Farmer, I mean, there's got to be several other checks you can do. What about the Microsoft ones? I'd rather just level up. All right, now we're going to let Latrec out of his cell. Yes, there is, as even in this one, there are hunters. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I should buy. I should buy the list from him. Oh, so he got hacked and sent you a link that you bought into. In order to fight the hackers, we have to fight fire with fire. Wait, I have to... I have to buy one of these every time I want to report a fucking piece of shit? Wait, why can't I use it? Severity of sin, 60,000. Guts? Okay, his name was Don't Kill Me. I have to do it when they're invading me? Oh, come on. My name, Jeff. <laughs> What's up, Gas? Welcome to the show, dude. Thanks for being here. We're just learning the ways of reporting hackers in Dark Souls. Because I got invaded by a hacker. Gas, what have you been up to, dude? Yeah, dude, it's like a big reunion in here tonight. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Oh, lots of work and lots of D&D. How are y'all doing tonight? Well, I just got killed by a hacker, but I'm not letting that phase me. We're going to go let Latrec out of his cell, and then Pally told me I can kick this asshole off a cliff somehow, so we're going to try that. I see, Pally. Isn't that kind of smart, though, that the game is self-governing in a way? by putting the players on a list by uh, reporting, other players are more likely to invade and destroy their game time. Although I imagine you'd have to be hacking to deal with a hacker. Uh, Pally, he's gone! <laughs> Carnage. But I'm doing good, Gas. Shit, Pally told me I could let him out after I kill the boss. 
I have been deceived. Oh yeah, we're going to fire link. Let me know the song just changed. Let me know if the music is too loud It may not be the boss that triggers but I know there's something that triggers him leaving I wish though Windows Defender didn't take like 10 hours Yeah, and you can't really do much other stuff while that's running. Can you? Very well I have a few million files at this point I was thinking about that the other day. My brother has a computer with one hard drive in it. Meanwhile, I've got like five or six. Yeah, I'm playing iTunes music in the background, Pally. Oh, here he is. He let himself out. Oh, guess. Back in April, I moved in with my parents last year. Yeah. Has it been that long? Hello, I am Night. We're both undead. Oh, he's played by Patches VA. We... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, Gas. I moved to save a bunch of money so I can save up, save up for a house. So that's what I'm doing right now. Looks closer to the wall. No, I'm in the same spot. Hmm. If you have. Wait, how do I kick? How do I kick, Pally? Forward R1. You're good, Gas. Well, what have we here? No! Kick! Are you sure about this? I need to reload like um Internetting said to get his drops That was funny dude sit at the fire he told me to just quit the game and reload yeah a lot of dark souls people wanted me to kill him but i wanted to see what he does if i don't kill him oh how'd that go for you carnage breaks when removed Put that on. Oh, you can get his armor if you do his quest line. Pally, are you saying it's so good that I should just put the ring on and never take it off? You bet your ass you do, or you, or I bet my ass you were saying that. Oh, dude, Carnage, his fight later on is so fucking tough. Uh, where the hell do I go now? I don't go to the Tomb of the Giants. Do I go to the forest? Put that shit on, okay. Oh my god. I could see my health bar go up. Uh. Un 
Undead Lower Berg to fight Goat Boy. Wait, how do I get there? Yeah, Carnage, it's a 1v3. Oh, nice! Yeah, I cheesed him my first ever playthrough. I think a lot of people cheesed him on their first playthroughs. people to watch me while I play Hunt in Tarkov. Dragon Bridge near where first meet Sunbro, the door on the right. Meet, not meet. What do you call cheesing him? Like running away, hitting him once. Running away, hitting him once. Or getting him stuck on a railing or something and hitting him with range. Shit like that. Which, I mean, it's all vi viable and legit. This game is not the best at dealing with multiple opponents of power like theirs. Yeah, cheesing. It's a tactic. Okay, what is this Gravelord sign? Invade world of Gravelord servant. What the fuck is that? Oh shit, if I leave the area, that's gonna go away. Why'd you turn around? You could have just stayed, stayed ignorant to your mortality. by bringing his friends so in new game plus if one is down in your world it powers up enemies to be bosses more or less they give hella souls but to get rid of the sign and depower the enemy you need to invade and kill him oh i never knew that doesn't quite have the same feeling as sekiro's clang but i'll take it Shit, you need four attacks? I hate this game, dude. I hate this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this way might be faster. Saving panels while I think of my uh, Berserk tattoo continuing. Oh, yeah, Elden Ring of Bloodborne and Bloodborne have spoiled the shit out of me 100%. Actually, I disagree with that statement. From Software just got better at making games. Oh, oh, dude. I wonder if I can tag them or tag you in a Discord post or something. So. I've been I've been reading it while I work and I've been right clicking and saving the panels into um, a uh, draft email to myself. 
Let me turn the music down a little bit. There we go. So I'd have to get them out of my draft and post them, but I can do that. Uh, but there's one I like a lot that's like, it's a rectangular panel that's smaller on the right and larger on the left. And it just shows Guts like staring at his enemy with the Dragon Slayer uh, primed behind him, ready to swing. Um, so far, I think I'm in the 270s of the chapters. So I've got about 100 chapters before I'm all caught up. And dude, there is so much shit I completely forgot about in that. Like, I forgot just how much of the Skull Knight we see. Um, there's a few Zod appearances that I completely forgot about. Uh, characters mention that Guts must be part elf due to his rapid healing and like seemingly limitless endurance. And I'm inclined to believe that. Especially because Guts could also see Puck straight away. Right? Like how the fucking movies have, sh uh, have Skull Knight show up right after he and Casca do the deed and he has no clothes on. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's not, that's not when this shit happens. Also, I love Farness so much more as a character now that I, I forgot she was such an evil person. Here goes nothing. Oh, fuck. That, that didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. Yeah, they move that scene. Doesn't it originally happen after he leaves? Yes, it happens after he leaves the Banner of the Hawk while he's been out on his own. Uh, so so between him being 18 and 19 years oh, of age. Hello. We're not going to talk about the Gargoyles we just fought, buddy. I forgot that Serpico was Farnes's half-brother. The one thing, the one thing I don't like in this reread is, oh my God, Isidro and Puck are so heavily comic relief that it kind of annoys me. Okay, now when you go to the arcway, head to the right. Oh wait, this is a shortcut. I mean, I like Isidro. I like how he's basically Guts's like adopted son. It's just like every other fucking panel has him and Puck doing some shit. I also forgot all about um, their little episode. I, I forgot they literally have a beach episode after uh, he gets the Berserker armor and Skull Knight's like, you better watch out when you wear that shit. Yeah, they're very annoying. Well, kids are always like that. I mean... Wait, Pally, where am I going? Please, game. Go to the bonfire to have a closer save. Wait. You mean the bonfire back up here? Stop. Don't open that door. 
voice chat now no i can't do voice chat while i'm on stream i think i know what you're talking about i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna turn around i'm gonna go to this bonfire up the stairs is this the bonfire you're telling me to go to over yonder What am I doing? I remember the dragon on the bridge, yes. down okay now go back down kill the dog watch out for bandits and follow through the alley yeah i don't have that bonfire under the dragon and i and besides outright killing the dragon i don't really remember how to get it collision on these walls look at this shit man they're gonna poison me Master key. Master key. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that, gas. I've done it before. It just it takes too long for me to stream that. What am I doing down here? Where am I going? Somebody help me. Damn, I'm powdered. Brilliant. Thank you. I am Griggs of Inheim. I am much thanks to you. I mean it. Oh, I see. Oh, hello. fucking assholes And there are assassins here, right? Wait, Pallor, are you just guiding me to the boss? What the hell just happened? Mail 
breaker. Oh, is that the parry dagger? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes, I did need to remember where that boss was. I got confused because Gas asked if you were taking me to the gate under the dragon. My bad. Dude, fuck dog enemies in, in FromSoft games. What the hell? fucking mind oh i'm dead because your amazing hit stun no just leave me alone Just work here, don't listen to me. Come on, I just want to try and parry you. Get fucked. Oh shit, am I out of Estus? I am. Okay, now that I know where I'm going, I'm gonna go back to the dragon. I want to get that bonfire, and then I'm. Guy, actually, I gotta call it when I do that, ladies and gentlemen. I need to be done with stream by 10 o'clock but seriously thanks everybody for coming out this was fucking rad i'd love to have you all here more often i would love to stream more often why would i why would i stand behind the fire the dogs are dead why am i questioning you pally you got me bro The dogs kill themselves if I stand here. <gasps> gotcha. Yeah, they suck. For sure, gas. So I've been playing a lot of hunt and a lot of escape from Tarkov lately. So when I'm in Discord, that's probably what I'll be doing. <laughs> Let's see if we can get to this bonfire before I end it. Thank you, Pally. Oh no. No, I was so close! <laughs> I just need a little Estus and we'll be good. Same old, same old gas. Sort of. The difference being, I I think I'm f <laughs> I'm less angry when I play them now <laughs> through sheer willpower. That's what I'm doing. Wait, how do I kindle a fire, Pally? Am I even playing? How 
do I kindle this? God damn it. I'm choosing your poor directions over my inability to listen as the fault of that death. Pally, what does kindling do? You turn human, then you spend one humanity to kindle. But what does kindling do? Wait, for humanity? Oh, so I can kindle it again. I don't think I ever knew this. You need the secret right to go beyond that. Okay. Yes, we're going to try the dragon again. That's why Firelink was giving me 10. on the bridge See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Sucker. Thanks, guys. I never would have figured that out. Why are you sad, bro? I'm just continuing to play the game. All right, I gotta stop. Don't thank me. Thank Fex a life. Fex a life. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I did it. Now I know where that goes. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let's see if there's. Let's see if there's anybody to raid. Real quick. I haven't raided anybody in a hot minute. Wait, stick around for the raid. Hmm. Kit's playing Valorant. Let's go raid her. All right. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time.
your skin mine. Mullet, bye. 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 Mullet, you stressed me out, man. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. You didn't have to do that, but I appreciate it. What are you, you're playing Dark Souls? But like, why can't we just hug it out? How's Dark Souls? How's the Dark Souls in? Full save. I'm saving. Mm. It's crazy to think that people don't normally just full save two rounds to start out with. That's wild to me. Like all the time, she was stressing, getting attacked in a closed room, Dutra, and then I hear the fucking like Pokemon battle sound going.